Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's eagerly anticipated Netflix series has faced yet more criticism, as a royal historian slammed the docu-series as a fluffy reality show. While the series has attracted two 4 million viewers, beating the crown, on day one of its release, royal commentators have criticized the series for lacking substance and new revelations. Best-selling and prize-winning writer of history and fiction Simon Sebag Montefiore said Prince Harry has no reason to whine given his lavish lifestyle in his luxurious Montecito mansion in California. Speaking to Laura Kuensberg on her Sunday's BBC political program, royal historian Simon Sebag Montefiore said, Actually, when we look at Prince Harry, has at a L.A. mansion with endless red carpet galas and a reality show on Netflix, I don't think he has that much to complain about. Asked whether he should be treated more harshly in the wake of the Netflix series, the royal historian dismissed the show as a fluffy reality show, saying, I think Terry's nothing to do. Change is very little. The media go absolutely crazy about it. But when we look at our monarchy today, in our strange constitution, it's the personification of democracy. We have a wonderful monarch in Charles II who's a model of duty, service and thoughtfulness. In many ways, we're very lucky to have him. Simon Sebag Montefiore added Prince Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary was very unexciting. Somewhat boring and deeply unmomentous. Meghan Markle and Price Harry's Netflix docuseries has been caught in a whirlwind of criticism over the show's substance and the couple's claims. In the run-up to the release date of the first three episodes, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex presented their story as the full truth of their love story spanning from the early days of the couple's courtship to the challenges and controversies that led them to feel forced to step back from their full-time roles in the institution. The three-part series, which hit the streaming giant on Thursday, covered some episodes already known among royal fans including Meghan's media treatment and relationship with her family and allegations of racism against the royal family. Prince Harry took direct aim at unconscious bias inside the royal family and defended their decision to quit the institution, as their highly anticipated Netflix documentary series threatens to deepen the split between the couple and Buckingham Palace. He said, in this family, Sometimes you are part of the problem rather than part of the solution. There is a huge level of unconscious bias. Another reason to leave the firm, the Sussexes said, was the institution's control over their every say and move during their engagement interview before their wedding in May 2018. Meghan claimed the time around their engagement was an orchestrated reality show, adding it was rehearsed. The former BBC Director General Lord Hall claimed it is untrue the interview was rehearsed, as has banter filled behind the scenes footage that appears to show the pair laughing, joking and chatting with each other, interviewer Michal Hussein and other people off screen. In reference to his choice to marry Meghan, Harry said that for many people in the family, there can be a temptation or urge to marry someone who would fit the mold as opposed to somebody who you are perhaps destined to be with. In another hit at British media, Harry said that he believes they see his trauma as their story to control. He addressed the Royal Rota, which is a system where media are allocated slots to cover the members of the family. Meghan is set to unveil the royal row, with royals insiders saying she will draw a line under Megxit. Read next.